What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove your jailbreak and reset your device back to factory settings without updating your firmware. So obviously if you mess something up and wanna restore through iTunes, you're gonna be updated to iOS 10.2.1 and then eventually in the future 10.3. But with this method, you're gonna stay on the same firmware and you don't even need a computer for it. So this works for any iOS 10 device on the Yalu or Mock Portal jailbreak and is again, practically a full restore just like what City Eraser would do. So since Zork has taken so Long to update City Eraser, a few developers decided to make a solid alternative called OS Restore 10, and I've used it a total of about four or five times with absolutely no issues. So it's a semi-restore tool that utilizes the Erase All Content and Settings feature, and I'll have more information on exactly what it is and what it does in the description below. So this is just a great way to start fresh if you're experiencing issues with Cydia that you can't solve any other way, even after watching some of my videos. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go and get into it and show you exactly how to do this. So first things first, before we get started with anything, make sure you back up your device, all your data, all your photos, everything in either iTunes or iCloud, or else it will get removed. And don't worry, you're gonna be able to restore from your backup later on and have all that data back. All right, so now that you have all your data backed up, we're gonna go ahead and open up Cydia. We're gonna go to Sources, Edit, Add, and we're gonna add Coolstar Source right here. As you can see, it's coolstar.org slash public repo. It add source. And as you guys can probably tell, I just got done doing this. So that's why I don't have any of these sources installed anymore. All right. So return to Cydia. Now we're going to go to edit, add, and add another new source. This one is repo.jailbreakhub.org. Go ahead and hit add source, return to Cydia. Now we're going to go to search and search for stashing. As you can see right there, stashing for 9.2 through 10.2. Click on that, click install. You see it's gonna install all this. Go ahead and hit confirm. All right. Click return to Cydia. Now we're going to go back to our sources, click on the jailbreak hub, all packages, and they're gonna scroll down until you find OS Restore X. You could also search for it, but as you can see there, we have OS Restore X, OS Restore 10, and OS Restore 10 Term. Now I'm gonna be using the regular OS Restore 10, but the term version basically just means that you can run a command in terminal to trigger the OS Restore package. So basically you're only gonna to wanna to install the term version if you plan on doing this at a later date. But this one, the one we're gonna be installing, triggers right away, right once you press install. All right, so let's go ahead and click on it. We're gonna click install confirm and as you can see it's going to start erasing a lot of the content on your device and it's going to be showing you exactly what it's erasing and as you can see it gives you a warning a very last warning if you want to back out and not do this it gives you a warning to do so it says this is your last chance all right so there you go you should see some red and yellow text and then Cydia will crash and that's because Cydia has actually just been erased off the device so now we're going to immediately go back to settings go to general reset erase all content and settings erase iphone erase iPhone. Don't do anything before that. And if you get that blue screen, don't worry. That happened to me multiple times. Kind of scary when it happens. I thought I was going to have to update to 10.2.1, but everything went fine multiple times. That's happened in the past. So I'm sure it's going to happen just fine this time as well. So you'll see that bar right there. And while we're waiting on this, I do just want to mention that this is still considered a semi restore, not a full restore. Uh, you know, City Eraser is sometimes considered a full restore, but of course it hasn't been updated just yet. But when City Eraser does get updated, I am going to be making a new tutorial on how to use that. But again, this is just a great alternative if you need it now and you can't wait for City Eraser to get updated for iOS 10. So as you can see, now we are on the setup screen as if we just bought this iPhone and just restore. So we're going to go through this whole process. And as you can see, when you get to this screen, you can restore from your backup if you want. You can also set up as new and then restore from a backup later on. All right, now we are done. Let's go ahead and scroll over. As you can see, there is no Cydia at all. I'm going to go ahead and search for Cydia just to show that there's no Cydia anywhere. Now we're going to go into settings and make sure we're still on iOS 10.2. About. As you can see down there, iOS 10.2. So now that you're on a fresh install of iOS 10.2 or whatever version you were on, you can now go ahead and re jailbreak your device using the tutorial in the description below. Now, if you re jailbreak and you open up Cydia and you get a DPKG locked error when trying to install something for the first time, don't worry, it's gonna go away. Just go ahead and close Cydia and try again, and it should install properly. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description to help with any other Cydia errors you may encounter, although you should not have any errors after doing this. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is how you can un-jailbreak and reset your device back to factory settings without updating your firmware. As always, if you run into any issues, check the description first and then leave a comment and I'll try to help you out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. If you did, as always, make sure to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.